Okay, so we are exploring surface area of spheres by looking at an orange. Now when you're exploring this, the rounder the orange the better because that's going to make it the most similar to a sphere. Our first step is going to be to draw four circles you're just going to lay your orange flat and use a marker to draw circles around the orange. It's okay if your circles aren't drawn perfectly. Just try to trace around the edge of that and make all four as equal as you possibly can. While you're doing this, think about the relationship between the circle that you're drawing and the diameter and radius of the sphere. Now that I have my four circles drawn, the next step is going to be to take the surface of our sphere and try to fill these four circles up and then see what relationship we can make to, from that to the surface area formula for our sphere. You're going to Fill up the circles by peeling the orange and placing the peel inside the circle. I found it easiest to fill up one circle at a time before moving on to others. Also, you want to make sure that there's no white space showing. Get that together as much as you can, so the easiest way to do that is by peeling out the smallest pieces that you can. I'm starting to work on the third circle now. I've covered two circles so there's a little over half of the orange taken up. So we're on the right track. Okay, so I finally have covered all four circles and looking at the orange, we've used the whole surface to cover those circles. So what does this mean about the surface area formula of our sphere? 